You know what? Screw the Fifty Shades franchise. R-rated action movies are what Valentine's Day is really about. John Wick. You're not very good at retiring. I'm working on it. Hey there guys, how are you? It's me, the Canadian Movie Buff, with a review of John Wick, Chapter 2. Following up on where we left off, former hitman John Wick, played by Keanu Reeves, tries to leave his line of work for good. But just when he thinks he's out, they pull him right back in. And as if getting his house blown up wasn't enough, a bounty has been placed on his head and assassins from all over the world are hunting him down. It's a rare treat when a sleeperhead gets a follow-up, and it's even rarer for the sequel to be so well done. Case in point, this movie, which is as entertaining and action-packed as the original. Right off the bat, the action is amazing. The fight sequences are very well choreographed with very few jump cuts and close-ups. And while it is more brutal than the first, it never quite reaches that level of being too over the top. A welcome change as most fight sequences are extreme spectacles with so many jump cuts that you're confused as to what is going on. I'm looking at you, Civil War. Once again, Keanu Reeves is amazing as John Wick. It's almost as if the character was tailor-made for him. His stern face approach and lack of empathy comes in handy because when he has to put that war face on, it has a natural fit. Not once did I look at his expression in the fight scene and think that it was too cartoony. Along with the good acting and action, the movie also did a great job expanding the lore. We learned new information about John and more about the Hitman underworld and the rules that come with it. Not to mention the new cast members, which are welcomed with open arms. The additions of Common and Ruby Rose not only gave us some new interesting characters, but also opened a few pages in the franchise's lore. And you may have heard this in the news already, but they are already going ahead with a third installment. Luckily for us, the movie ends on a note that allows room for said sequel to happen. I won't spoil it here, but it raises the stakes to a whole new level. I know that sounded really cliche, but trust me, it does. There's a moment of plasticity, which is put off flawlessly by Keanu Reeves. How plastic is it? We're talking levels. But it doesn't last too long, and before you know it, we're right back in the action again. Besides, that trait has followed Keanu his entire career, so it's bound to show up even in the best of performances. When all was said and done, Chapter 2 is everything a good sequel should be. It expanded on the lore, it gave us a more complex story, it taught us something new about the hero, it had quality action sequences, and it leaves the door open for a third movie without necessarily feeling like a build-up to one. When comparing it to the original, Chapter 2 is just as, if not more, entertaining. Here's hoping that it does better at the box office than the first. It's this year's dose of Valentine's Day R-rated action, and it is a... Total Incredible. The only other downside is we'll probably have to wait until 2020 to see Chapter 3. But if that's what it takes to give us another great action movie, then I say take all the time you need. Alright, that's my review of John Wick Chapter 2. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave your answer by commenting down below. And as always, this is the Canadian Movie Buff saying I hope you had a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya!